How many of you like sweet potatoes? Yeah, I used to. I used to like sweet potatoes too, but but listen, you want to know how to eat to live? Leave the sweet potato alone. Why? The sweet potato is very hard on your digestive system. It takes days to digest a sweet potato. Now, if you just like the taste of the sweet potato, you can take a carrot and you can make the carrot taste exactly like the sweet potato. And it's better for you. Now, this may sound strange, I'm telling you, but if you practice how to eat to live, I'm telling you, in 30 days, you will look better. You will feel better. You will act better. Now, just a few more. He said, no sweet potatoes and no white potatoes. Sweet potatoes were never good for any human to eat. They are good for hogs, but not for you. White Irish potatoes are a food for people who live in frigid zones. A staple food for such as Europe, Northern America, and Canada. But potatoes and rice are too starchy for you and me. They laden us with too much starch and fat, which are friends of diabetes. Yes, sir. You want to get diabetes? No, sir. Keep getting on that starch and that fat. Well, Brother Farrakhan, do you eat rice? Every day. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us how to cook the rice where you brown it in a pan. When you brown it, you take that starch out of it by browning it. Then you, they boil it. Then when you eat that bad boy, it's okay. You got to start with a long grain brown rice. That's a, in a class, brothers and sisters, when you learn how to prepare your foods, this stir-fried madness, nothing fried. Fried food is death. Sorry about that. Fried chicken, even baked chicken. Anything that makes the surface rough and hard is not good for you. The fried food sending you away from here, clogging up your veins and arteries with fat. And as you get older, the sludge that you find in your motor? You ever notice how after you don't clean that bad boy out, the sludge deposits in your motor, so you have to have a whole complete motor overhaul. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's what happens to your veins. All the deposits of fat and debris line your arteries and your veins. So the blood only has a little hole to go through. Then the heart got to pump harder and harder to squeeze the blood through this fat. So you overwork the heart. All of this due to improper eating of too many fried foods. I know you don't like this. <laughs> Sweet potatoes are full of gas. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look, let me close this book. Lima beans. The messenger said, Lima beans, they call them belly busters. <laughs> they are so gaseous. I know when you go to these restaurants and you have this little uh, vegetable soup, they lace that soup with these baby lima beans. And you'll be blowing people out of the room, out of the house. <laughs> you have to tie yourself down, you have so much gas, you like a dirigible.
And it's the food you eat that makes people not able to go in the bathroom after you. You have to declare a holiday. Put a sign up, you know what I mean? Stay out for a year. 